Well, good morning internet. Here we are. We have ourselves a start to what's looking to be another snowy day. I don't know if my plans are going to come together today, but I guess it is what it is. And yeah, welcome to our vlog. So, here we go. Well, after the end to a, a long week and a bit of a frustrating, um, well, a day, uh, here we are the next morning. I didn't really get much sleep. I um, kind of overdid it throughout the week and uh, with the cold and being outside, I've uh, aggravated, I think, or irritated, I should say, a old injury. Now, of course, uh, I think with a little bit of rest and such, it should recover uh, without too much of an issue, hopefully. Well, today I want to go and uh, wash the uh, new truck and uh, shoot some video and take some photos. I was trying to film an installation of the uh, WeatherTech floor mats here um, a couple of days ago. And it was early morning, and uh, the camera doesn't like low light. Even though it wasn't low light to me, it was low light for the camera. So I um, tried to shoot it a little bit later when I had some time, and uh, lo and behold, the camera battery was dead. Um, probably from the cool weather. You know, the battery or batteries tend to not like the cold too much. So, of course, I want to shoot that. Then I've got a couple endings to a couple more videos about the truck I want to shoot. And then, obviously, take the customary photos like I always take. Um, it kind of is what it is, right? My uh, life is uh, changed once more than what it was even as recently as a month or two ago. My uh, spare time is at a minimal um, time now. And I have been contemplating for a while with everything going on, um, modifying the upload schedule to YouTube or um, changing it altogether per se. I don't know quite, haven't quite worked out all the details yet, whether it's a Monday, you know, Wednesday, Friday upload or, uh, you know, kind of a Tuesday, uh, Thursday, Saturday. Um, upload or, or how it's going to work out but um, essentially it kind of works out the same regardless except there's like one or two more days where there probably wouldn't be you know an upload uh, right now going daily with the Maxwell's world and the vlogs and the fire pit and everything else going on is of course a, a handful and working a full-time job and doing other things is, well, something's got to give eventually. And, and unfortunately with uh, YouTube the way it is, um, you know, today more and more of my videos were demonetized for no apparent reason. And um, obviously YouTube is the most obvious choice to go. So we'll see how it goes. You know, like I said there in other vlogs, I've been on YouTube for 10 years. Um, been con consistently making videos for seven. Um, it's kind of the way she goes, right? Everything comes to an end eventually, and uh, while well, this might be my sign to uh, shut the whole YouTube end thing down, you know, upload what I have left for videos and footage, and then uh, do what I can to piece together what is not uh, completed or shot. And then, well, the rest is gone, right? But pretty much, guys, gonna get going and rolling. Don't know how the day is gonna go. Would like to, uh, like I said, shoot some videos, get some stuff done. But there's no guarantee on any of that. So we'll see how she rolls, and we'll catch you all later. Well, hello, internets. Here we are. We come to 
the end of another day. Yeah, I know I wanted to wash the truck and to show you guys the uh, truck that I purchased. However, you know, sometimes things don't happen exactly the way you um, had them planned on out. Kind of had a little bit of a quiet day today, a little bit of a relaxing day. Uh, decompressing from the long week. I am hoping uh, tomorrow we can get the uh, uh, pictures shot, you know, the truck washed, things like that. Um, get those videos finished shooting. People around me have commented that they've noticed in the last uh, uh, few months that my YouTube priorities have shifted. I didn't realize this over the last few years that um, YouTube took up a lot of my time um, or takes up a lot of my time or would take up a lot of my priorities. Um, I know when I was filming videos uh, it would take longer to set up the camera, get the shot, all that stuff than it would to actually just do the job and get it over with. I, I know that, but I didn't really realize that in my life I was focused more on YouTube um, than I should have been, and, and but I didn't realize that I was focused more on YouTube and not on what in my life should be of importance. I guess that's kind of the way it goes, right? I've given it all I can afford to give it and more. Um, to make it on YouTube as long as I have hoping that one of my videos would hit it big or I'd attract subscribers or get noticed on YouTube and um, it hasn't happened. I don't quite understand and I probably will never be able to figure it out how uh, some people put out crap content shot with a potato and edit it on a turnip and they've got thousands um, of you know hundreds of thousands of subscribers and other people you know they got millions of subscribers and you know okay fine yes they are putting out good content or uh, they've got writers that are writing the content for them and all they got to do is read a teleprompter or a script where me um, I, I film what's in my life and hey if my life is not interested well you know in and hey if my life is not interesting to the average person well not all of us can uh, do jumps or make prank videos or smash iPhones or um, crush things or whatever right I tried to cast my net wide by doing the fire pit videos I had plans of diversifying the fire pit channel and things like that, but uh, the Fire Pit channel uh, to this day is even yet to even uh, remotely bring in enough income to have um, paid for itself by far. And same with the vlogging channel, it has yet to bring in an income even to uh, buy the battery it took uh, to film my first video, things like that. You know, after all these years on YouTube, all the dedication, all the uploads, all the uh, sacrifices I've made, the time I've spent, you know, family time I've wasted, um, it hasn't really got me anywhere. I've been uh, seriously, very strongly considering um, pulling the plug on the whole YouTube thing. I've kicked around pros and cons and as of right and now as of right now there's actually more pros to uh, quitting or suspending my YouTube than what there is to actually keep it going. Yes, I know I've gained um, slowly one or two subscribers you know every uh, week or or two but at the same time, after seven years, man, I, I should be, you know, 40, 50,000 subscribers, right? Or, or so, especially, I don't know. I guess that's what happens when you live in a little town with uh, 30,000 people or so, you know. 
but yet other people live in towns too and uh, their their net is uh, you know and their channels are even more narrower than mine but yet they've got subscribers but I believe it's based on who you know and uh, who gives you shout outs and who um, pushes your videos that you know one morning you wake up and uh, you've got 20 30 thousand subscribers you know I've tried the whole uh, wasting money on promotional items and promoting my channels and all it does was a waste you know uh, I have yet to receive any comments from people or any um, real fan mail letters to say hey I found one of your stickers or I found one of your business cards or I or, or whatever you know laying around and thought I'd check your channel out you know, I had a couple of letters of um, people saying that, you know, they watched somebody's video and seen the sticker or a decal. But, um, you know, it didn't yield what I thought it would yield. This whole YouTube venture has been a very, very, very uh, time-consuming, expensive, uh, exhausting hobby. I have no idea the secret to YouTube, the secret to making it big. have no idea what I need to do to turn this channel into a money-making venture. Just imagine what I could do uh, if my channel was bringing in two or three thousand dollars a month in a revenue. Just think how many um, videos I could bring you guys. Think how much I could show uh, the world of my area uh, further out area, you know, hopping on a plane, uh, showing people sights that they probably will never see in their lifetime. You know, going to museums, going to events, um, you know, getting an actual RV rig that you can actually travel around in and bring sights to people that people never knew were even there. I had considered that at a time, kind of one of my hopes was to um, bring the world to people that couldn't see it, but it's, uh, it's not the way it works. You know, I realize my videos have been lacking a little bit in the last uh, little while, but at the same time, when you're focused on your life, focused on surviving over making videos, you can't put all your money into making videos or putting out for something that's not pulling its own weight you know if YouTube is not paying for itself then you very very much you're gonna have to let it go you're gonna have to cut it loose you're gonna have to uh, give up on your hobby your dream um, you know the demo derbies are great and all they get th they get some views but yet they really don't bring in the money and okay, fine, you know, a six, seven year old video has 10,000 views, but yet, um, be lucky if I paid for the batteries that it took to film that video. But I have no idea how or why that some people have great success on YouTube and uh, others struggle. Some people put out uh, no content or shot with their iPhone or a Blackberry or whatever, and then they got, you know, 1,500 or 2,000 subscribers overnight. And other people, they got money to pay people to write scripts and all that. And it's, with me, um, everything that I've got on my channel has basically been paid for by me. Um, yes, okay, fine. You know, I did receive a couple of gift cards and letters and a few help now and again. But, um, and I'm very, very grateful for all that. Like, don't get me wrong. It's just... Um, it's a very very small drop in the bucket from the monthly operating costs that it costs to uh, run my channels I thought by making a one-stop shop for all that was Maxwell's life entertainment that the channel would grow people would like my videos but really I haven't really seen much of a growth at all in the channel or more views on the videos by combining them all into you know one stop so with my new schedule going on and other things going on in my life, my time for making videos is very, very minimal. 
and I am feeling the need to uh, end my YouTube career as much as it never was. And I haven't quite completely called her quits yet. I still do have a few videos left um, to upload and as well as unfinished ones in the works. So I got to do some considering, do some thinking, decide what I'm going to do. Am I going to modify the upload schedule and do what some other YouTubers do? Upload a video, you know, for a week or two straight and then disappear for six months and then come back whenever I feel like it? Am I going to upload the, or am I going to modify the upload schedule? So, you know, I put out 10 videos a month instead of, uh, you know, 30 or 34 videos a month. But, gonna end it all here guys, it is what it is, and around we roll. Remember, we do have a fan mailbox. Send me some encouragement in the mail, send me a decal, send me a letter. Uh, winter time's here, I think I'm just feeling the winter time uh, blues. And it's not even, uh, you know, got its full tilt yet. And as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's vlogs, comment, subscribe, and enjoy.